In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a very simple slide to show the next steps. As you can see here, I have just added a background uh, image and when I click, it will show you the hand, four hands, and then it will show you the text there. One, two, three, and four, and you can type your text. This is a good slide to show you, uh, to show the next steps uh, in your presentations instead of just putting a normal bullet points. So let's see how to do this in PowerPoint. Add a new slide and go to insert icons and go to signs and symbols. Select this one, which is this particular symbol. Increase the size and rotate it to left 90 degrees. I can increase the size further here and then you can see under format there's an option called convert to shape just click on this one it says this is an imported picture not a group do you want to convert I say yes and then let me just go back and rotate it one more time so this is now a, a object right mouse click go to format shape and I can change the color to some nice colors and I'm going to give some 3D effect for that. Go to 3D rotation and select this one, which is perspective below. And then you go to 3D format and increase the depth. You can see here, there's a depth has been created then i can make some more by pressing ctrl d and change the color to some other colors and send this to back and increase the size a little bit more and then ctrl d i'm going to make four actually so i'm just going to give some other colors this one reduce the size put it here and one more i'm going to give this color and reduce the size further and select this all highlight all and go to shadow and sorry not shadow go to this reflection and give this reflection you can see here the reflection has been created and then I'm going to give some animation effect. I'm going to select this one, go to animations, add animation, and I can just go to more entrance effect. I will say, let me just check. Spinner, I'll just select the spinner you can see here. Spinner is like this and just say, okay. And using the animation painter, double click. I'm going to copy to all and press escape key go to the animation pane and make sure this is all with previous and you can just increase the delay to 0.25 this 50 and 75 if I play it will come like this 1 2 3 and 4 so this is a bit fast, you can make it a slow also. And then on this side, you can add the options. So insert text box, just say zero one and give the same color as of the hand, make it bold, increase the size, center align and put this one here, zero one. And then you can insert the text here. type your text here you can if you want you can add the title also press ctrl g to group it ctrl d to duplicate this is for two and ctrl d and this is for three and four so i'm just going to ungroup this and bring this to the front here yeah. 
and just change the numbers to 2 this is 3 and this is 4 and if you want you can just give the animation simple animation to this then select this you can give the animation fly in go to animations I'll just say fly in from left so this is also I'll just say fly in from left and this two also I'm just going to group it control G and this two I'll say from fly in from right or if you want you can give some good animation also and this all should happen after previous so you can see here I have just made it all after previous and if I play it will show you something like this that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye